Sea Wolf submarines arguably introduced a new generation of undersea technology and firepower. During a short-lived and prematurely truncated existence, the famous Sea Wolf submarines arguably introduced a new generation of undersea technology and firepower, sufficient to inspire what is now the breakthrough Virginia-class attack submarines. The initial Navy plan was to construct as many as 29 Sea Wolf submarines as very large, technologically superior submarines capable of carrying as many as 50 Tomahawks. This is massive firepower and, given that the Sea Wolf class was stopped after only three boats, its cancellation may be why the U.S. Navy is now fast-tracking Block V Virginia class attack submarines with Virginia payload modules built in to increase the boat's firepower by 28 Tomahawks up to 40 per boat. This brings a commensurate measure of firepower and may be part of a deliberate effort to compensate for what many regard as a potentially premature cancellation of the Sea Wolf class. Did the collapse of the Cold War the massive extent to which the Soviet and Russian threats seemed to decrease inspire what may have been a short-sighted decision to cancel the Sea Wolf. Certainly many discuss what was called a military technology procurement holiday in the 1990s has inspired a massive uptick in new platforms in recent decades. The Pentagon was pivoting from a Cold War era, yet many likely still maintained a long-term view of the threat equation and likely very much wanted to keep the Sea Wolf. What happened? End of Cold War, Sea Wolf cancelled early? The somewhat abrupt end to the Cold War generated a quick and potentially premature cancellation of the highly capable Sea Wolf class attack submarines initially slated to replace the existing fleet of Los Angeles class boats. Although the service initially planned to build 29 Sea Wolf submarines, only three were actually built before the program came to halt due to budget constraints in the mid-1990s. The early termination of the Sea Wolf class submarines inspired the birth of the now fast-progressing Virginia class submarines, yet the Sea Wolves themselves were engineered to be a paradigm-changing jump forward in capability beyond the Los Angeles submarines. The Sea Wolf was larger than the Virginia class boats and considered expensive at $3 billion per unit, yet its mission was clearly defined. Sea Wolves were designed to, among other things, hunt and potentially destroy nuclear armed Soviet Typhoon class ballistic missile submarines. The Sea Wolves were also built to track Soviet Akula class attack submarines in deep ocean environments, according to research in the U.S. Naval Institute's Guide to Ships and Aircraft of the U.S. Fleet. Sea Wolf class hulls are constructed from HY-100 steel, which is stronger than the HY-80 steel employed in previous classes, in order to withstand water pressure at greater depths, the U.S. Naval Institute guide states. As very large boats, the Sea Wolf class is able to carry as many as 50 Tomahawk cruise missiles, something which might explain the rationale for why the U.S. Navy is building Virginia Block V attack submarines with an extra 80-foot section adding 28 more Tomahawks to the previously existing 14. Called Virginia payload tubes, these extensions are now being built into Block V Virginias, in part to replace the aging, yet heavily armed Ohio-class guided missile submarines and Sea Wolf class.
There are other similarities between the Sea Wolf concept and upgrades to the Virginia class boats, such as the addition of a large aperture bow sonar system to Virginia's, which appears somewhat aligned with the Sea Wolf's larger spherical sonar array, wide aperture array and new dot array sonar. The Sea Wolf is also reportedly designed for shallow operations and Special Operation Forces mission support and delivery. This is also quite similar to Virginia boats, as Block 3 Virginias are built with a special lockout trunk designed to fill with water and quietly enable soft forces to deploy on clandestine missions.